with all of the COVID restrictions and RVing, doing laundry has gotten a little bit more difficult. In this video, we are going to show you a great way to be able to do laundry while you're on the road and never step foot out of your rig. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you are not subscribed yet, I would invite you to do that right now. Just tap that little bell icon and that way you get notified every single time that we release a new video. In this video, we're gonna show you how we have been 100% self-contained this year, even while doing laundry. Now there's pros and cons to this, so make sure to watch this video in its entirety because I'm gonna share both the pros in the cons of doing laundry in your own rig. So in our rig, we have this splendid two-in-one washer-dryer combo. So the way that this works is this is an all-in-one unit. It washes the clothes and it dries the clothes as well. It's the Splendid 2000S, and this was actually here in this rig when we bought it from the previous owner. Now, let me tell you a little story about RV life when the pandemic first hit and we were at an RV park in Arizona. And I remember walking by the laundry area and seeing some not so happy faces of people that were in the laundromat, people that were outside of the laundry area, knocking on the windows, telling people it was time for them to get out because they were only allowing one person in at a time due to COVID restrictions. That didn't look very fun to me. And I was glad that I never had to step foot inside of that laundry facility at the campground and we were able to do everything we needed right in our own rig. Now that's not to say that I haven't done laundry at RV parks because I have and I have a little bonus tip for you about doing laundry at RV parks that I'll share a little bit later in the video. Now you might be wondering can you really get all of your laundry done in a washer dryer that's this size and absolutely yes but there's a couple of things that you need to know and a couple of things that you need to maybe adjust about RV living if you haven't already done so. Here is a tip. When we first started using this rig for RV life, I was still using the old style terry cloth type towels. Now, if you're using those towels, two things. They don't dry very well when you hang them up on a hook inside of your rig and they take up a lot of space in this particular unit. So I switched over to the microfiber travel type towels. These microfiber travel style towels are much thinner. These work great. And when you hang them up in your RV to dry, they dry very, very quickly. And the bonus thing is, is I can fit multiples of these towels in our washer dryer. That's four towels that are in there. And I still have room for more laundry. So I can wash these four of them in here. Before with the old terry cloth style towels, I could only wash one at a time with a few other bits of laundry. So switching to these towels means I can do pretty much all the laundry that we need to do here in the rig. So these are from a company called Venture Forth, and I'll make sure I put a link in the comments below, but I have loved switching to this thinner type towel for RV life, not just for this, but for also the fact that they dry faster and they just work much better and take up way less space. So people ask, how long does it take? Because everybody talks about, oh, it takes so long to do a load of wash. Now, here's the thing. It just depends upon the setting that you're using. On the dry time, there's multiple options. You can go up to 120 minutes on your dry time, or you can do as little as 30 minutes on your dry time. You also have options for like a super cycle, a normal cycle, or a delicate cycle. I usually use the normal setting. I usually do 50 minutes of dry time and I am done in about 90 minutes total. 
What I love about this, and this is one of the pros to this type of unit, I never have to remember if I took something out of the washer and put it in the dryer, it's gonna happen anyway. So there's none of that like, oh, did I switch that load before that it starts getting that funk smell? So I only need to use just one of these pod style laundry detergent packets per load that I do in here. So very easy to keep these on hand to do the laundry here. Another question that people ask is, can you really fit that many things in here? And like I showed you, four huge towels that I can fit in here with the microfiber, but I do usually one load per day for our whole family of four. That's usually adding a towel in each day, a couple of dish towels, everything that we're wearing as far as clothing goes in one load per day we totally keep up on laundry. And my kids actually love it because it gives them less clothes to have to put away on a daily basis than if I am going to the laundromat and doing a large amount of laundry at once. So one of the cons to this unit is you do need to be at a campground with full hookups. If you are boondocking, you're not going to be able to do this. Number one, it takes a lot of water. So you really need to be hooked up to water and you need sewer because there's going to be a lot of gray water that's generated from this washer dryer unit. Two, you really need to have electricity. It does pull a decent amount of electricity to run the dryer part and the washer part. So you really cannot use this while boondocking you really need to be using it when you're hooked up to full hookups. Another con, it's not going to fit things like large blankets or a load of sheets. So most of the time when you're in a sticks and bricks house, if you have a large blanket, you're taking that to a laundry mat that's got a larger machine for that kind of stuff anyway. But on days that I need to wash sheets, which I usually only wash our sheets every two to three weeks, those I usually have to do in a residential size washer or dryer. So things like sheets or blankets, you do need a larger size washer for, but for the everyday stuff, it's great. So now when we first bought this rig from the previous owner, I had never used one of these onboard washer dryers before. And my first thought was just take it out. It takes up a lot of space. This is a lot of space that I could use for storage. We were getting along just fine without a washer and dryer for our previous years of RV life. Why would I need one now when it takes up all this space? But I thought I would give it a little bit of time, see if maybe I would use it or not. The previous owners said they had never used it, so they couldn't be for sure if it even worked or not. So I thought, okay, well, we'll just kind of try it out the next time that we're out. Well, we did, and I will tell you now, <laughs> I will never be without one of these units again, especially after having this past year of RV life in a pandemic like we have. So this particular model of the Splendid is vented. Now, we've not had any other model other than this one. I have read and heard that the non-vented units don't dry clothes as well as the vented ones, We've never had a problem with this getting our clothes actually dry. So I will definitely say these vented ones seem to work great just because that has definitely been our experience. So one thing to remember about this particular style unit is that if you've got some clothing in there that are like t-shirt type material and you leave it in there for an extended period of time after the cycle is done, it can come out a little bit wrinkly. So the key is to pull the clothes out as soon as the cycle completes and then just to hang them up and they'll be wrinkle free. So one last pro to having the onboard washer and dryer. When this thing's on the spin cycle, it shakes the whole rig. The pro to that is you never have to explain to the children why that the rig is shaking. You can just simply say, oh, that's just the washer dryer. Now here's the bonus tip that I promised you. A fellow RVer taught me this a while ago and I started doing it and found that it works great. So we travel primarily in the summer and on extended weekends throughout the school year. Quarters, I saved them up and I put them in a Ziploc and I just squirrel them away all year long. So I have a bag full of quarters that I keep in our rig 
to be able to use it any RV laundry mats or state park laundry mats, any campground that has laundry facilities. Another great idea for doing this is because it's great to have small change on you and in your rig for things like toll booths or any of those times where you just need some small change. Now, last summer, my kids thought that it was just totally a bonus for them because we had gotten to the end of our summer travels. We were gonna be getting ready to go to our home base for the school year. And I had a whole bag of quarters left and there was an arcade at the RV park that we were staying at. And so they thought it was pretty cool that mom had a bunch of quarters that I let them go use at the arcade because I was done traveling for the summer and I knew I didn't need it for laundry. So let us know in the comments what your experience has been with doing laundry on the road. Do you use laundry facilities? Do you drive into town to use the laundry? Do you have an onboard washer dryer? Is it a combo unit? Is it a stackable? What have you found works best for laundry for RV life? Let us know in the comments and that way others can see as well and get some suggestions on some things that could help them with living the RV life when it comes to laundry. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check us out over on Patreon if you'd like to support the channel there. And as always, we'll see you on the road.